Okay, now you might think it's obvious on how a buckle is oriented. This one, for instance, has a top and a bottom and it's somewhat contoured. However, not all buckles are that obvious. One thing you can look for is ridged bars and they always go up. So on this particular buckle, it's a double adjust that's a no-sew buckle. You do it like every other side release buckle. You come up through the inside slot and go down through the outside slot. It's locked in place and when you pull in it in a straight line, it holds very, very tightly. When you let off the pressure and especially when you change the angle, you can then take the webbing out. Okay, now this buckle uh, threads exactly the same as the double adjust buckle, but I'm going to show it again. You come up through the inside slot and down through the outside slot. Again, it will hold what's in a straight position. It will slip when it's in an angled position. So you want to make sure you position your buckle appropriately. Also, an awful lot of folks say, I don't want to run the risk of losing the male portion of my buckle. Since nothing is sewn to it, how do I do that? Well, we offer a folding over of the end. We do it twice and then we stitch that. And so when it comes up against the buckle, it's too thick and bulky, it can't come through. This is what we call our containment stitch, and it is an option on all of our uh, straps that have a sewn side release buckle. All right, so you can see that this buckle is very symmetrical. In fact, when you take the buckle, when you take the male side out, you can turn it over and put it right back in. So in theory, this is upside down. How the heck do you know how uh, to feed your webbing? Well, again, look for the ridges. And what you do is you come up the inside and down the outside. And now you're threaded properly. It's locked and holds. When you change your angle, it slips. So if you are concerned about that order, the containment stitch. Once again, for orientation, you look for that ridging. This is the top of the buckle. Now this one, most side release buckles come with two squeezes. This one has only one. You have to press that and boom, it comes apart. You can see how beefy that is. This is a killer buckle. And then back in, and you're together. Now we'll go ahead and thread it. Again, up through the inside slot, down through the outside slot. Set your angle and you've got a good strong hold. Change the angle, it releases. So again, we kind of recommend the containment stitch. All right, so we've talked about lots of different kinds of side release buckles. This one, the orientation is really easy because you have the cam lock here that's going to lift up, never down, and so this is the top of the buckle. Now, this does feed, just like every other side release buckle, up through the inside slot and down through the outside slot. Now, instead of a containment stitch, you have a cam lock, and this will not slip regardless of the angle of the buckle. So really neat little setup. This is our cam lock side release buckle. Now we've shown you several different styles today. They work very, very similar with minor changes, but if you have any questions, you can always call us, email us, drop us a line, let us know what you need to know to make our products work for you.